April 2013, a building collapsed in Savar, Bangladesh. Over 1,100 workers died. Another 2,500 were injured. From the rubble of Rana Plaza, a worker made this plea. Save us, brother. I beg you, brother. I want to live. It's so painful here. I have two little children. Before us is an opportunity for Canada and Bangladesh to go forward side by side to realize the desires that we have in common, peace and political stability, economic growth and jobs, jobs that pay enough to support our families, jobs that are safe enough to allow us to return home to them. In April 2014, Matthew Kelvey, NDP MP for Beaches, East York, along with delegates from affiliated unions of the Canadian Labour Congress, traveled to Dhaka, Bangladesh. There was anger, frustration, sorrow, and tension in the air. We have people here today that come to mourn the people that they lost here, and we have uh, mothers and brothers and fathers coming to still find their missing loved ones in this rubble. To see come from Canada in sorrow for the lives lost in Rana Plaza. And we come in solidarity because we stand with the workers of Bangladesh. Survivors and loved ones of the deceased told stories of broken families, broken hearts, the international labor community in conjunction with our friends and allies of the Bangladeshi labor community developed the Accord on Fire and Building Safety in Bangladesh, which currently, as I speak, has 156 global retailers and brands signed up. Delegates met with a number of government officials. The delegation was greeted with a bank of television cameras and a mountain of microphones in their meeting with Commerce Minister Tofail Ahmed, one of the most prominent political personalities in the country. To extend a hand of friendship to the government of Bangladesh and a hand of friendship to the workers of Bangladesh in the hopes that the government of Bangladesh will embrace the opportunity for the workers to associate freely, to bargain collective agreements with their employer freely, that will allow the workers of Bangladesh to have a bright future for themselves and for their children. Bangladesh's organized unions and union federations hosted the Canadian delegation at a dinner in a hotel in downtown Dhaka. While you work here to represent the workers of Bangladesh in their struggle, we back home in Canada and the United States will continue our work to help 